How you doing people? Now, I'm going to do a rant video. Just something that's been on my chest for a while in my mind and I feel like I need to express to you. I feel like you personally need to hear this story. Now, when I started YouTube, I had no no thoughts, no dreams of making earnings from YouTube. But when I actually started making earnings on YouTube, I started to like it. Now, this is in my first channel that I had. I had GOTP News. GOTP News had had made great earnings. It, 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 to, I'll be honest. I used to make, I believe, when I had that channel, I used to make somewhere north of like four to five hundred bucks a month on GOTP News, and that was just through uploading two videos a week. Once I finally became a partner, and if for any new subscribers, you can actually go to that old channel and you can check out the older videos, you know, you can check out the first 100 episodes I was actually watching it before. I'm still hilarious, still hilarious. They had me, I was chuckling the whole time, chuckling, ha ha ha. Now, now my point of this video is that I've seen this even before when I left for an entire year. I saw this before and it has gotten worse. Now I see this a lot and I hate it. I, I see channels like Real Hard Eight Times. You probably heard of him. He does gameplay, kind of funny guy. Uh, the Broken Broken Games HD. He does also gameplay. Uh, El Presidor. Now these guys, these are th these are three guys that I mentioned that have a great amount of subscribers. All right, over thirty thousand, so to speak. No, to speak, to speak. Sorry. They have over 30,000 subs. Now, these guys, on average, should be getting... Now, these guys should be getting 5,000... They. I'm oh, sorry. Now, before I go... Before I start to describe them, I'm going to talk about me. Now, I left for a year. I don't expect the amount of subscribers that I have, that I had before, to watch my videos. I don't expect all of them to do that. I knew when I was going to return that I was going to have a significant drop in views because YouTubers, they like loyalty. And I don't mind rebuilding that loyalty because I like the grind. I like making videos. I like earning subscribers. I like earning my views. Before, what would help me get a lot of views when I was in my older channel, the first channel, was the fact that thumbnails, for those who don't know, Thumbnails, to get custom thumbnails before two, three years ago, that was a privilege. That was given solely to the YouTube partner, which you had to apply for. Now, for the new YouTuber, all you have to do is make an account and you're automatically a YouTube partner. That's all you need to do nowadays, just to make to, so you can monetize your videos to make earnings cool I get it I get the move to get more people engaged on YouTube therefore makes Google more money if everyone is capable of making earnings on YouTube cool right so here's my thing because of that because of that there has been a significant drop in everyone's views since then Really, the only people that still don't see such a hard drop but still experience these drops are like the top 100 YouTubers in the, in the, on the website. And the reason being is because I honestly believe that there is something that Google has that prevents all these videos, all these new partners from being exposed in the search when anytime you search for a video or a certain a certain subject you won't pop up and that's because everyone's a partner everyone's a partner and before that would be a youtuber's ultimate goal like i gotta become a partner like that's that's my goal that's what i want now you make an account and you don't even know what a YouTube partner is, especially if you're new to the site. You don't know what a YouTube partner is, but guess what? You're already a YouTube partner just because you signed up. Now, I'm going to go on to viewers. Now, I had 3,000 subscribers. Now, when I first left YouTube, I'm sorry, when I first came to my new channel, the channel you're on now, I used to have an older channel 
at GOTP News. That's when I made my first nut. That's when I became YouTube uh, partner. And that's when custom thumbnails were popular. Now back then, it was really easy to get subscribers off custom thumbnails. Now everyone can have a custom thumbnail, so it's impossible to keep yourself different from anyone else. So having a custom thumbnail is the norm. Before it was unique and now it's the norm. So that doesn't increase your viewership anymore. At least I find that it doesn't increase viewership. I remember I put a thumbnail one time on my video, one of my recent videos, and it actually decreased my views. It slowed it down. I'm like, whoa. So people were actually responding to it with just like more people were, were engaging with just the thumbnail that it already had just my face you know and the, the logo the gaming buzz logo so moving along now 3,000 subscribers I didn't expect all 3,000 people to be engaging in my video I didn't expect that I knew what I was going I knew I was gonna see a significant drop so I did an average now my average viewership at the moment is about 500 views a video and that's by adding all the views that I have since this January up until now and then dividing and then coming up with an average so 500 views now 500 views out of 3,000 people I'm gonna round it to 3,000 people that's 15 percent that's 15 percent of people engaging you know what 15 percent of 3,000 is that is low and I'm not saying that I don't deserve it because I haven't been on YouTube for a while and the, lo the whole loyalty thing I get it but but I bet you I bet you every cent that I still have that I have right now that if Google did not own YouTube that my 15 percent would actually be 30 maybe 40 percent maybe even 50 percent but definitely not 15 percent viewership and guess what when I took other youtubers and did the exact same averaging it was the exact same percentage 15 20 percent viewership broken 50,000 subscribers average viewership two to about 7,000 views and every now and then 20,000 and aside from the very popular videos that usually get you a lot of subscribers which is huge here on YouTube you need a very viral video to get you a lot of subscribers that to me blows I hate that I hate seeing people that work hard so hard to get the amount of subscribers that they have only to not have all of them engaging almost none of them all of them engaging like that sucks that's that hurts that hurts your pride that hurts the work you put in and if you if we continue to support YouTube if we continue to accept this ass raping that Google is giving us we won't succeed as creative people we just will not so what I think there needs to be I think there needs to be a revolt I think there needs to be a YouTube website that competes with this YouTube I think you see uh, if you guys ever seen wrestling you know how back in the day when the WWF at the time WWF was hot but there was other shows that were trying to get known you know I think it's time for us to migrate to another show like I think YouTube has ex has overextended its its welcome I'm tired of this abuse but like I said I don't mind getting my I'm, I don't mind getting new subscribers again because that's what keeps me hungry on this website the new viewers new new subscribers new engagers I love it so here's my thing guys just 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 look just take a step back and, and look what's happened look at the evolution of YouTube and guys do me a solid share this video that's what I'm gonna start saying at every video to share it if I have 500, I can get a thousand people to watch my videos. So if every one of you who watch it, just share the link with someone who might be interested in the same information, please do that. Let's spread the love. It's like going to watch a movie. The best way that directors get other people to watch the movie, it's literally by people who already went and watch it, they tell all their friends. So guys, please do not keep this video to yourself. I know you guys have at least 
another friend who would be interested in this video. If that is you watching this video, share this with someone else, just one person. I don't need you to share it with your entire, with all your Facebook friends. I just need you to share it with one person who would be interested in this shit. And take what I've said, with, a, with not with a grain of salt, but take it with serious consideration. The fact that we need to have some type of revolt because there's something going on that is preventing my viewers from, or my video my videos from coming up on everyone's YouTube page when I upload it and that's a problem so aside from that do you know I don't know if you guys know this but when I actually got back to YouTube this year I wanted to remove ads from my videos because I don't make earnings off of them so I don't see a point in why people should sit through seven second ads to watch my videos now here's the thing I tried to do it and you know what stopped me from not taking off the ads that you probably see next to this video or you probably saw about to enter this video is the fact that there is a clear statement that when you're about to take off the ads that your videos will not be shown on certain parts of the world if you take off the ads. Really? So you're telling me the only way I can have people watch my videos is if I already have ads? And I don't want to make money off this. I just want people to watch and engage. Come on. There, there's something going on, you know? Share this video, please. You need to hear this rant. This is a rant of the year. It, it needs to be heard, all right? Thank you. On to the show. To the, to, I've ran it off for like 12 minutes. Now there's a recent uproar, there's been a reveal of the new Watch Dogs story trailer and in the trailer you do see some actual gameplay but the gameplay isn't exactly what we saw back at E3 when they first revealed Watch Dogs. It kinda looked like a PS3 version of Watch Dogs and had, <laughs> had nonetheless had gamers in an uproar. Uproar! Gamers are upset! What is this shit? Am I paying for a PS3 game? Well, according to a designer of, from the game, no. Apparently, these are the graphics that you saw at E3, but they don't really look like the graphics that we saw at E3. I guess at this point, we're just gonna have to wait for a beta of some sort to finally decide on what we think of this game. We're gonna have to wait for a beta before we can talk more shit about it. <laughs> That's all it is, people. So hush. The new villain, though well, the main villain in Arkham Knight has been revealed, and it is Hush. I forget what skills this guy has, but his face is wrapped around. His face is wrapped around. Is wrapped has, but his face has wraps like a mummy, and he wears a cool leather coat. And has two pistols, and yeah. I'm not sure what he had. I've never seen him in any other thing besides DC Universe, which you guys know I'm a big fan of DC Universe. And he's actually one of the guys you fight. He's a big boss there. So in this one, he's actually the main villain. Now, when I first saw Batman Arkham Knight, I thought that Arkham Knight meant Batman, but it actually means the villain that's in the game. It's The villain is called the Arkham Knight, and it's not Batman, but yeah. Um, Hush is the main villain in Batman Arkham Knight. Finally, I hope we're now in Gotham. Before, we always used to, you know, circle around the asylum and, you know, Origins kind of showed us more of the city. But hopefully now it's more Gotham-ish, now that we're able to use the car, so to speak. So, Arkham Knight looks awesome. Cannot wait for it. Yeah.